Hello, Zachary Triple O Seven, and in today's video, I'm starting off a new series on my channel, learning to code in Java. Now, this channel, or this channel, mostly for the longest time, has been revolved around tutorials and such things. But um, as now that I'm growing a little bit older, I kind of want to branch my channel a little bit, which means I'm not going to stop making videos what I'm currently doing on because I do enjoy making those videos, but also just making other things. And one of those things I want to branch into is coding or programming. So if you guys like the series, let me know, and I for sure will continue on making them. If you guys don't like the idea of the series, also leave that below, because there's no point in me making this series if you guys have no interest in it. I can look at something else. So basically this series is going to be about, it's going to be for beginners on learning how to code in Java. So I'm going to start off with the real basics, like, you know, like loops and initializing variables, and hopefully as the weeks go on, progress into slightly harder things. Now I don't plan on making this series like a once, like a, you know, you'll go from zero to a hundred and be an amazing programmer after this. Um, but what I wanted to make it is a great place for starters who are having issues with Java or just want to take something up as a new hobby where they can start from basically ground zero and get themselves a good base where they think then, then they can go ahead and learn other things. So with that being said, in today's video for the first episode of the series, we're going to be learning about and how to set up our IDE, which is the Integrated Development Environment, which is essentially a program that will allow us to code in. So um, in this series, I'll be using NetBeans. Um, there are different programs. There is NetBeans. There's Eclipse as well. Eclipse is very popular. Um, it doesn't really matter what IDE you use. I'll be using NetBeans. So if you want to copy me identically, down that means as well. Uh, me personally, I've always used NetBeans, and so I just tend to use it. Uh, but like I said, you can pretty much use whatever you want. And uh, NetBeans does have cross-platform support, so you can use it on pretty much any OS. Um, but like I said, it doesn't matter too much. The code will be the same pretty much. So with that, enough talking. Let's get going. So you want to head over to NetBeans, and you want to go to download. And then we're just going to download the Java EE one right here. Once it's done downloading, you'll get the NetBeans um, install file. So go ahead and open it up. Now, I already have had NetBeans installed on this computer. I basically uninstalled it for this tutorial. So a lot of the things I will already have installed. So uh, you will have to install it yourself. So basically, you're going to press next a bunch of times. You will need the Java JDK installed. So what you need to do is just look up on, the, on Google. Well, actually, I'll have a link in the description below to the Java JDK, just in case you don't have it. You need to download and install that. It's pretty simple, just next, next, next a bunch of times. Now, get to this point here, and you shouldn't have any errors like I had before, and basically press next. Have it check for updates, and press install. And now we'll go ahead and install all the necessary things needed. And like I said, you will need the Java JDK, so you'll need to go to the website and download it and install it, because without that, you can't actually program in Java, so. So now I'll just skip the video until the installation is done. Okay, so now it's done downloading. We can press finish. And the NetBeans icon should be on our desktop now. We can go ahead and double click it and it will open up. And once it opens up, it'll look just like this. Now your NetBeans, or like I mentioned earlier, I have used NetBeans before, so it does keep my settings, one of which being um, how dark it is. So I do have a custom dark theme that basically changes the color of my code and it just makes it easier in the eyes for when I'm coding late, late at night. Now, if you're interested in, in this theme, uh, all you gotta do is just go to Tools and Plugins and go to Available Plugins and just search Darkula. So it's um, like this here. And I already have it installed, so if you, if you go to installed, you see Darkula right here. And once you install that, you'll just have to reboot it, and then it will look just like this. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it. So um, that's it for this first video on how to install NetBeans and get it up and running. And if you guys like the idea of the series, uh, let me know. And I hope you guys do enjoy the video. So I'm looking forward to your responses in the description below. If you have any questions about the whole install, install process, let me know. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in future videos. This is Dacker0007, and I'm signing off.